Hey guys, I'm really excited because I just went and refilled my liquid nitrogen doer, and this time I ordered 30 liters, but they filled it up to the top. That means I got five liters for free. So let's go put it to good use. Today is the day where we answer the question, what does liquid nitrogen do inside of a six foot water balloon? Let's go find out. Oh man, that's a lot heavier than it was last time. Now you might be wondering how dangerous is liquid nitrogen, and honestly it is really, really dangerous, but not if you respect the boundaries and work very, very quickly. Got my wife here to help me. What do you think about all these crazy experiments? They want to know. Oh, they're always just too much fun. It's boiled down a little bit, so we're just going to top it up so we get as much liquid nitrogen in there as possible, and then I think it's time to load it up. All right, now this is where it gets real. I've already put a zip tie around the neck here, and the idea is to stretch this over the thermos, turn this upside down and dump everything in there and then tie it off. We'll see if we can make that work. Ooh, that's already getting crispy, huh? You can see it's starting to blow up. That's cool. Uh-oh, my zip tie just came off. That's not good. And that neck is completely frozen. Uh-oh, oh well. I have to warm that up. I can't get it off now. <laughs> it's completely frozen. I'm taking the gloves off. <laughs> Check it out. The bottom of this balloon, it's like a turtle shell. Whoop, there he goes, there he goes. Look how hard this is. It's almost like a helmet. Luckily I brought back up. Okay, so we figured the reason it didn't work last time is because all the nitrogen froze the rubber before we had a chance to tie it off. So this time, we're gonna try some kind of an insulating barrier. We've got water bottles, styrofoam liners, funnels, maybe even a paper cup that we're gonna stick down the neck. And I'm gonna have my wife try pouring it into the balloon rather than turning the whole thing upside down. We'll see if that makes a difference. Check out how big the neck of this balloon is. That thing is massive. So we should be able to stick this paper cup in there, no problem. That's actually a perfect fit. Okay, we got it all in there, but the neck is pretty well frozen. Oh, I think we might be in business. Yay, self-inflating balloons! Now at this point, the balloon's getting big enough. I don't really want to play with it too much in case I pop it accidentally. So I'm just gonna let the nitrogen keep expanding on its own until it runs out of liquid. Let's just see how big it gets. <laughs> Whoa, that's actually good, I like that. Look, we sprung a leak. It's still expanding and it's still blowing up, but nitrogen's leaking out faster than we can contain it. Is that a hole right there? Or is that just gas? Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Okay, so update, we're on balloon number three, and these things aren't cheap, these are $30 each. We got a little duct tape so that the zip tie doesn't rip into the rubber. I think that may have been one of the problems we had for the last time. Oh, uh-oh. Don't know. Don't know if that's a good thing. Yeah. Oh, that's just the neck again. Okay, we'll get this thing warmed up and then tie it off. All right, guys, I think we're in business. We made it this far, and that's the hardest part, I think. Ooh, look at the grass down here. Crispy. Oh, the rubber just hit me in the eye. Check that out though, that is awesome. Okay, so guys remember safety is important and for some reason I wasn't wearing my glasses and my eye definitely felt it. But that rubber smacked me right in the eyeball and that hurt a lot. All right, so here's the difference this time. We got duct tape around here instead of the zip tie. We do have a zip tie under there but it's like protected by duct tape so there shouldn't be any sharp edges to make this thing go off. Now we're gonna get this off the grass and go put it on the trampoline because there's a lot less chance the trampoline's gonna accidentally puncture it like the grass did. Okay guys, this time glasses on for safety. I literally felt a concussion hit my chest. Boom, just like that, it was awesome. 
There you have it guys, it only took $100 worth of liquid nitrogen and $120 worth of these six foot water balloons, but we got there in the end. We can now answer the question, what does liquid nitrogen do to a six foot water balloon? Thanks for joining me for this experiment and I'll be looking for you guys in the next video. I'll see you then. Hey guys, I just had to give credit where credit's due. Big thanks to my friends who came out last minute and helped me film this today. <laughs> I'm Mark Wilson, I'm the drone pilot with Sky Kings Media. We're Todd and Joe Robbins with Kuma Films, we make high quality videos of awesome people. Check out all their stuff, I'll put their links in the description. We'll see you next time.